Hello and welcome to another video about Leet Code Python 3 solutions. This is problem number three, longest substring without repeating characters. This problem is given a string s, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. For example, one we're given an input string of abc, abc, bb. The output is three. The answer for this one is abc, which is the longest substring with a length of three. Example two gives us a string of bb, bb, b which the output is one because these are all repeating characters. So the longest substring is just B with a length of one. And for our third example, we get an input string of P, W, W, K, E, W, which our solution output is three. And the answer for this is W, K, E. Let's go through a quick example. Uh, for this solution, we're gonna wanna use pointers and a moving window solution. So the moving window will have a starting and an end pointer that we'll use to keep track of our substring that we're looking at. To start off, we'll have both of our pointers pointing at A, and we'll keep track of the values we've seen by using a dictionary. And as we've seen in previous videos, the dictionary is a way to store key value pairs. And we'll put the current letter that our end pointer is pointing to into our dictionary, and we'll store that as the key, and our value will be one. So we'll start this off by putting our end pointer value in, which is A, so we'll have A in here as one. Once we put the value of our end pointer into our dictionary, we'll also want to calculate our max length of our substring. So in this case, we'll do our end pointer minus our start pointer plus one because we're, we're looking at indexes and indexes start from zero. So we'll have to add one to get the actual value. So in this case, our max is going to be our end minus our start, which is zero minus zero plus one. So our current length is just one. And once we've done this, we wanna move our end pointer to the next position in our string. Now we, would, we just wanna repeat. We will take our current end value and put it into our dictionary. So we have B in here now, and we'll wanna to check to make sure that our new value, we haven't seen it before, which we haven't. So now we'll calculate our max. And in this case, it's going to be one minus zero plus one. So we increase our max to two. We'll do it again, this time with C. And we'll check, we have not seen C before. So we add it into our dictionary and we'll calculate our max, which is now two minus zero plus one, three. So we've increased our max since it's larger than our last. And we just continue going through our loop. Move our pointer to D. We check our dictionary, we have not seen D. We add D to our dictionary. And then we calculate our max. So D is three minus zero plus one. So we're now at four. And now we move our pointer again. So we now check A, we see that we have had it in our dictionary before, so we do not wanna add it again. And now instead of calculating our max, we wanna move our starting pointer. So we're sliding our window. And now we're pointing at B as our start and A as our end. And so we wanna move this starting one until we've gotten to a point where we have non-repeating characters again, which we're at. Um, and we do that by checking our dictionary based off our start value pointer. And now we can calculate our max again. And we see we have four minus one plus one. So that will equal four. So we don't need to change our max value because we've seen a, a substring the same length or greater. And now we wanna move our end pointer again, pointing at C. We see we have seen C before. So we now want to move our starting pointer. So we move it to C. And we also remove this B1 because we no longer have seen a B1. And we still have uh, a repeating character because we check our starting uh, pointer and see we have C. So we need to move this up again. Now we have D and we don't have any repeating characters. So now we calculate our max again and we will have five minus three plus one. So that equals three, it's not greater than our max. And now that our end pointer has reached the end of our string, we can stop there and return this four. Let's jump into the code. We'll start off by defining a couple of variables. We need our dictionary. We'll need our max length variable. And we'll need our starting pointer. Next, we'll wanna loop through our whole string. So we can use a for loop. And the first thing we wanna do once we're in this loop is check our value at our end pointer and see if we've seen it before in our dictionary. And if we have seen this new character before, we want to move up our starting pointer. And we can actually use the max function here to simplify it. This is just moving up our starter pointer to the most recent 
instance of the character we're currently looking at. And next we want to store our current character in our dictionary. And finally we calculate our max substring length and we use the max function here as well so that we can just calculate it and compare it to our previous max and take whichever is higher. Now that we're finished going through our whole string, we just return our max value. That's it for the coding on this one, so let's run it and submit it. All three cases passed, so submit. Our solution was accepted, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.